Hi, everybody. We're back. Dirt Dog Sports, Facebook Live. This is Arnold Santiago. We got another one for you. Like we do every Saturday at 7 o'clock. We got something special for you. Uh, like, I can't forget about this. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. This is a weekend. Happy Mother's Day to my mom. Happy Mother's Day to my grandmas and everybody. Everybody around uh, and everybody at Dirt Dog. Every mom at Dirt Dog. You know, I want to say Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de las Madres a, a todos allá en Puerto Rico. Because uh, I know they pay attention too. Whenever I, I'm on somewhere, they're paying attention. So I want to say that before we start tonight. So we're gonna tonight we're gonna be talking about coaching, guys. We're gonna talk about, we got somebody that is a special guest that you guys are gonna enjoy. What we're gonna be talking about him. We're not talking about softball hitting, softball fielding, baseball fielding, baseball hitting. None of that. None of that. Today, tonight, we're gonna be talking about uh, coaching. Okay. So this is something that it's great for everybody to. Pay attention, but I mean, everybody, mom, dad, coaches, and kids and girls, you know, get ready uh, to listen up pretty good because whatever you get here, there's going to be great tips for you to keep for, not just for now, for your entire career in baseball, in the sport of baseball and softball. And when you get out of that sport too, trust me, there's a lot of things that you're going to hear tonight that is going to help you a lot. So we're going we're gonna to bring now Don Connors. We're going to say hi to Don Connors. Hi, hey. Don. How are we doing? What's up, Arnold? We're Happy doing all right. Everyone out there. We're doing good, my man. And uh, I mean, we got another uh, Dirt Dog Sports Facebook Live. Uh, I think everybody should be already uh, enjoying this and getting used to us to be here every yep, Saturday. No, no, we're getting, great, getting great feedback, so it's awesome. <clears throat> uh, so, Don, I was telling everybody, we're not just going to be talking baseball and softball by itself like we've been doing every Saturday. We're going to have <laughs> something special. I think it was time to bring somebody that could talk about coaching the coaching part of the game how he how he do it how he's been doing it and, and i think we're going to get great 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 tips from our special guest that is really going to help not just the kids but it's going to help everybody at their dog yeah no, that's the biggest thing trying to get consistency across coaching baseball softball motivating the kids you know you got to treat everyone different so it's going to be great to hear from um you know from manny especially when you see it at different levels that he's been at so Looking forward to kicking this off. All right, then, guys. So, Alex, take it away, my man. Hey, got to work. Got to shake a lot of life. Let's go. Vamos pa encima. Pa encima. I watched a video today with the way you reacted. <laughs> you turned around like, did he really throw that close to me? <laughs> That's a big league play. You know why it's a big league play? Because it was made in the big league. Ponte uno. Demasiado gente tirando duro y a lo loco. Stay on the back, stay on it, stay on it. Guys, you know the drill. Anything that can be turned into a double play, you gotta go. Wearing a Sonic shirt. Yes, I got me a Sonic shirt. You haven't, you haven't seen it? With my favorite Sonics player on it. <clears throat> Dead left. Oh, oh that's a shrimp. Oh, yeah. Bayou Emilio. Everybody get up. Everybody get up. You don't know the other word in Spanish? Levantate. It means get up. Yes, you win. No checking, no nothing. Good job. Good game, dude. Good game. Good game. Hey, there you go. Our special guest is third base coach for the Seattle Mariners in the big league, Manny Acta. How you doing, Manny? I'm doing fantastic, Arnold. Thanks uh, for having me on with you guys. It, it looks it looks pretty nice the way we saw that video, that intro there. I mean, it looks like you were having fun. At least we know you're having fun in that one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you mentioned um, nice shirts too. Huh? How do you like this one? 
Oh my god. Oh. Uh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, the, wow. that that you remember that shirt you gave me at Fenway Park where we went with that. I said, hey man, I need a shirt. We're gonna do something. We did an auction, and here's the winner. Big time dunk. <laughs> Spent thousands of it, thousands on it too. Mine is framed. Mine, mine is framed somewhere. <laughs> mine is too. I just oh, took it out. Of the, I took it out of the frame for tonight. <laughs> all right, Manny. Uh, first of all, I mean, thank you for being here with us. Uh, I know mm -hmm. that you are a busy man, man. Even with the pandemia, everybody's trying to get a hold of you. So we appreciate that, my man. Uh, and the first thing we're going to be talking about is like, where do Manny Acta grew up, where you were born and raised, what you did your first few years in the sports? I mean, did you play just baseball? Did you play all the sports mixed with that? What you were doing, Manny Acta, the little kid, until you were maybe like 13, 14 years old? Yes, uh, I was born and raised in the Dominican Republic, uh, in a little town called San Pedro de Macorís, where most of the Uh, baseball players come from, uh, but actually, right outside of it, it's a, a little town that was. Uh, uh, it was basically. It, it was made out of all the the uh, the sugarcane factories And because of my dad used to work at the sugarcane factory. So um, we, I grew up in those places. I grew up. Uh, Normal kid, you know, playing basketball, playing baseball. Um, in my my first neighborhood, I was um, I, I grew I was fortunate to grow grow up uh, around Al Horford, uh, Al Horford's dad, uh, the the senior, um, and it's, used to play basketball with him when we were little. We used to play baseball. I grew up around George Bell. Uh, he was my neighbor, and then up uh, to another town where. It's where Julio Franco, Rico Cardi, Alfredo Griffin, and all those guys are from. So um, I grew up around players. Uh, I like playing baseball. I like playing basketball. Um, every Dominican, you know, wants to play baseball because we, we grow around those guys, grow up around those guys, and we see uh, when you're when you're a kid, you're, you're not you're not thinking big picture. So all I was thinking was their cars, their clothes, <laughs> uh, how nice everything was, and thinking about how hey one day i might go over to the states and and get a bunch of nice jeans and sneakers and get a nice car like a fredo griffin bell and along the way help mom but uh you know that, that was uh that was not big picture but, but um i played basketball uh, most of my uh youth too but my dad was uh was the guy who had the vision my dad basically told me back then hey How many Dominicans in the NBA? You know, back then it was uh, zero. So I'm like, oh, none. He goes, well, how many Dominicans in the MLB? So I said, oh, a ton of them. He goes, well, from tomorrow on, I don't want to see you again at a basketball court. If I see you there, I'm going to, you know, chase you out of there. I'm going to whip your butt. So you got to go play baseball and that's it. So that's how the baseball uh, started 100%. I was about, uh, about 13, 14 years old. And um, I grew up uh, loving the Astros and um, what a coincidence, Red Sox. You know, <laughs> yeah. I had a team in the American League, in a team in the in the National League. I was one of the kids that spent most of my youth arguing that Jeremy was better than Willie Randolph and the Fish was better than Thurman Munson and Rich Burleson was the best shortstop and blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, so it went on. So I had the Red Sox, the American League. I love the Astros because they uh, they used to have a lot of Dominicans in their team. And back in the days when we didn't have cable and we didn't have internet, they would only show one game a week uh, or maybe just have it on the radio. And um, uh, the, the companies back home just follow whatever the Dominican mm. players were. The Astros used to have Cesar Cedeno, Joaquin Andujar. You know, then later it came... Jose Cruz, Dicky Thorn. So all the Latinos were there. So I was following the Astros. Plus, kind of a colorful guy. So I kind of like that uh, rainbow uniform, too. <laughs> so you might I, was, the, uh, you might one. I was an Astros fan my whole <laughs> life. And uh, I was uh, fortunate that the, the Astros were the team that 
also signed me in 1980. I signed a professional contract with the Houston Astros, and I came over to the States in 1987. Uh, very rough. Uh, it was rough. It was rough because, uh, you know, I couldn't speak English, obviously. When I came over here, it was uh, uh, it was hard. It, it was uh, it was a tough ball in the meetings and uh, not understanding what what uh, what coaches were saying. So that was a uh, that was really hard time um, in rookie ball, Sarasota, Florida. I made a point of uh, of learning the language because of that uh, because it, it, I thought that I felt like I had to make the adjustment. I feel like United States had to adjust to me. I had to adjust to the United States um, I, and always push my teammates to try to learn the language because when you uh, when when you learn how to speak English, then your development your development is is, is 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 faster. It's quicker because you can get the instructions. Uh, you understand um, uh, people around you. Um, also, you're able to understand um, the culture and your adjustment to life becomes a lot easier here. And I play with a few of those guys that because they didn't learn how to speak the language quick enough, their development took a little bit, probably lost a year or two in the big leagues. It, it was rough. It was rough at the beginning. Um, I learned English uh, with my teammates. I learned English reading a lot of Newspapers, especially sports, uh, screen news, Baseball America. And by reading the, the newspapers, I, I learned how to write because you could see the words there. You know, it's like, the cow say, oh, that's how you write because. <laughs> so, you know, that, that's how I, 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 I learned how to write and read. And, and uh, because of that, it allowed me to uh, stay in the game. Uh, that that's something that people didn't realize that uh, it, it's hard. Uh, in your case, Arnold, as soon as you got over here, you were able to, you know, to speak English. But in our case, I got a lot of a lot of peer pressure and a lot of you know bullying a little bit from your 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 teammates, especially the the Latin guys, because I spent a lot of time with the American guys because I wanted to learn how to speak English. And, and they were usually just always on me, uh, telling me, oh, you wanted to be American. You're just hanging out with the American guys. Why you don't hang out with us? And I, I had to kind of, you know, put my foot down and say, I already speak Spanish. I don't be hanging out with you guys a whole day. I need to speak to learn how to speak English. And um, I think it's something that really helped me because at the end of my minor league career, which uh, lasted six years, um, how I don't know how they waited for six years, but <laughs> I, I did play for six years. And at the end of it, uh, that's what helped me, you know, um, me to, to get released, to, to say goodbye to my playing days. Well, I had the opportunity to, to stay in the organization organization as a as a coach player coach my first year and uh, uh that's something you know i, I try to push the guys to, to learn the language and to make the adjustment because there are so many things to do in this game it's just being a player and um, I know that we're going to get into some of that later, but was, I got to make a big guy with a, a major league experience or anything like that. It usually because always uh, they think that whoever played in the big leagues and, and, and put up numbers, that's the guy who knows about the game. And that, that's not the case. So uh, my plan was I was going to pay my dues. I was going to work in the minor leagues for like, 25 years if I had to <laughs> until somebody noticed me and gave me an opportunity. And, um, you know, I was uh, I was very fortunate. It, it happened to me after 10 years. I, all I had to do was coach 10 years in the minor leagues and uh, the Montreal Expos gave me the, the opportunity of my life. I mean, and the thing and the thing that we, we, we want all the kids and everybody that, that, that is watching with us here at Dirt Dog Sports, it's that you were, you were doing it in the 80s. 
So in the 80s, there was not like you guys see now that there's a translator every corner in the dugout, in the, no, no, I mean, back then, even I would say when I started, Manny, 93, 94, I mean, you just go to, go to the classes. I mean, you try to learn the English that way, but there was not somebody right beside you. So it was harder. So you did the right thing by getting together with the, with the American guys. Like you said, you already speak Spanish. Why do I mean, I, I just need to get another language going. And no, I, I, you probably weren't even thinking about coaching, just mainly yeah. to know both languages, to get it, you know, to, to make sure you get a chance, even in life. I mean, if you get released and you have to go and do something else, now you know two languages. I mean, and that's happening to a lot of guys your, in your time that pretty much just left baseball completely because they had no idea what to do. They thought baseball was it. Ah, my, my bat, my glove is going to take me to the big league. So I'm going to be in the big league. So I don't have to worry about if I know the language or not. So it makes it, you know, I mean, uh, a, a way harder for you guys back then to be able to end up having the chances that you got. But you did it, man. You kept working hard. You kept working on your craft, getting better every day with your language and everything around baseball. So don't, that's something that, that it's nice that dirt dog when I, you know, I'm coaching with you guys and Alex is coaching and we always, you know, we always joke with the, hey, you know, we got the Latino guys here, Puerto <laughs> Ricans. But uh, I always stress the kids. I mean, yeah, you know this language, you know English, but make sure if you don't do the right things, if you don't follow up, if you don't make sure you, you do right in school, you do right in sports, life is going to be way tougher than you think because we have to go through that just by trying to get here. Yeah, yeah, no, and then then you did a good job teaching the kids some Spanish too. Well, yeah, the end, yeah, eventually, I, my <laughs> English is bad. Eventually, some Spanish is gonna come out. It's like Manny, Manny, you know, and sometimes I have to say something Spanish because if not, it's, <laughs> guys, I'm I'm having a I'm having a I'm having a tough time listening. Can to you, you guys? Can Alex, you guys hear well, me? let me ask Alex. Is Alex is the one in the back there? Alex, are you hearing Manny? Okay. <clears throat> let me see. What we got here, Manny. Can you hear us now? You guys are like, you know, let me see. Let me check here. We're having a little problem with uh with the signal with Manny with signal. The, with the Manny signal, let me see. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Manny, do you think you could get out and come back in the same link? Yeah, I think we lost him. Okay, okay, guys. You know, we're live TV. That that could happen here in live. TV, we got Manny. I think Manny. We lost Manny still, Alex, or do we have him there? No, you'll have to go back and come in. Yeah, I just need to dial back in. <clears throat> okay. Actually, okay, Arnold, see, uh, quick, now, quick question, too, yeah, when, Manny was, when Manny was talking there. Um, you know, do the teams offer additional lessons, English lessons type of thing? They, they're they doing that, I would say, since 95, 96 okay. on. They got a teacher now. You have to go to that class. The only way you could get out of it, I'm not going, is if you start making progress and they could see now that you could talk and that you could get involved with your language. Then they leave you, you know, on your own. I mean, you pretty much could deal with it. Uh, but there's some guys, there are actually some guys, they don't want to do it. Yeah. They don't. I mean, they actually say, no, I don't want to do it, go to that class. I mean, why? I'm okay. I, because they think their future is baseball. I'm already professional, so I don't need that. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's kind of like in everything in life. I mean, we got we got kids. I mean, they're like, I don't have to do that. Why do I have to do that? But then when time comes, oh, I should have learned Spanish back then. I should have learned English back yeah, then. Yeah. I mean, because it does it does help me. But they do offer. They do offer, and it's not only just for the high pick uh, players or nothing like that. No, no, they offer the whole class. They, they take you, they have a bus, that bus takes you every morning. You take that class. Uh, there's usually another class at nighttime if you want to do it at nighttime. I mean, they, they do find a way to help you, but once you make it to the big league now, it's a lot, a lot easier this time because, you know, you're going to have a, a, a translator with you. Something that Carlos Beltran started, it might have been six or seven years ago, something really? like that, and they eventually got it going. Okay, Manny, you got me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, now. okay, yeah, okay. We were... <laughs> so I, uh, Don was asking me that if the major league teams now, organization now, they offer the, 
the translator since you signed professional uh, because I know in my time there was classes, but it was not that big compared to probably now. Well, actually, do the teams yeah. provide do the teams provide the translators, or do the players have their own translator? Uh, back in those days, um, they were starting to get better at mm. having a coach at each level. I'm talking about when when uh, late. 80s, like in 80, 88 and 89, 90, it, it started there where they were trying to get a Spanish speaking coach at each level, which it's something that it really helped because at least through double A, um, a lot of guys need it. But if you make it past double A, it's been three, four, five years, you should be able to communicate. Yeah. But nowadays, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. These kids they um they got a translator they they take classes as soon as they sign and um you know the the spanish coaches are just about everywhere too so um it, it's so much better it's it's a big difference and to me um it was always a worry because um as, as a dominican a lot of us or or as a hispanic when we come over here we're embarrassed at times and uh, we don't want to we don't want to admit we don't if we don't understand so whenever they're talking to you and they ask you if you understand you usually say yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and, and you know you don't understand you just don't you just don't want to be embarrassed and then if they tell you okay then go right go go straight ahead and then turn right and then if you go straight ahead and turn left what are they going to say? <laughs> These guys, not, he's not smart. I, I told him to go right, and, and he told me that he, he understood, but he went yeah. left. So those are those were the kind of things that with time we had to um, teach the guys that it's okay to say, I don't know. Yep, yeah. It's okay to say, I don't understand. And, uh, and, and uh, as I said earlier, if you're a catcher, if you're a pitcher, or if you play in the middle of the infield, and and you don't pick up the language quick. I mean, the, those are spots in the field where you need to be a leader. You need to learn um, speak English because the instructions there. You get more instructions playing up the middle than if you're in a corner in right yeah. field. We all know that. And uh, you need to get the signs. You need to get um, just about everything that the pitcher and the catcher are talking about. And um, you know, a lot of guys we push them to learn because that's going to really accelerate your process. Yeah. Yeah. That and I remember, sense. I remember too, Don, when I was playing with the Indians, my, my rookie year, uh, they, they were trying to get Bartolo Colon to learn the language. Bartolo, Bartolo just, he, he wouldn't even want to go to classes. I mean, he just, he was like, I'm just going to pitch. I'm just going to pitch. So what they had to do was that, well, okay, Arnold, you're always going to play first base every time Bartolo is in the mound for sure. You don't have a day off or nothing. But you're going to have to be on that mound every time. So, so Bartolo would be, it was funny because he would be like this. And the guys were like, there's nobody on first base. The other team was like, what are he's looking at? And I'll be telling the coach up first, tell you guys he's talking to me because they're talking to me. So I had to relay here. And it's, I mean, even though it was a pitcher that you don't have to worry probably that much. But still, I mean, I mean, uh, it's a gap that they needed to get it together. And yeah. they finally did. I mean, they, that, a, a guy that comes from the minor league as a Latino, they're going to have the opportunity to learn. If he doesn't learn, like Manny say, in a few years, well, that's his problem. I mean, there's something wrong with him. He doesn't want to do it because yeah. he's there for them and they should be able to get it. But that's good. Manny, let's talk about you, you, you're done with your playing career. The Astros come to you and say, you know, uh, what about coaching? Are you thinking about coaching? Will you do that? <clears throat> How did Manny feel? How was that moment? Because, of course, you still want to try to be, you know, a major league ball player. That's your your goal. But once that came in, how do you felt? It was hard, you know. You uh, you dreams are, are being crushed at the beginning. Uh, day in the morning when they told me, "Hey, listen, uh, we don't think uh, you have the ability to play in the big leagues." I was just uh, twenty two years old. And uh, they said, but we're going to give you an opportunity to stay here if you want to uh, as, a, as a player coach to start your career. Uh, so they gave me a day to think about it to um, my teammates. 
a lot of the guys from back home and they said, hey, man, they're giving you an opportunity to stay in the game. Yeah. None of us are going to be given the opportunity. We're either going to make a club lease and go to New York, stay here legally or something. You know what? Remember those, those guys did the Go here. Nah, got... I thought about it. Uh, yes. uh, you break myself, up a little. Yeah, you know what? Okay. okay. Alex, around, did you, you hear Manny, Alex? And then from then on, I get the big coach. I'm breaking up. Okay. Well, you're breaking up a little, Manny. Don't Can worry. You... But let me let me hear see. Me? Alex, Alex is fixing it back here. Our, our sound guy, our signal guy is working on that. Let's see how we, we get it. But don't worry, we're trying to get it. I mean, I know we know, guys, that we've been telling you everywhere. Uh, the this the, the 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 signals are not very very nice to I hear anybody. you very well right now. I know. I hear. <laughs> Let me see what we do. What we got, Alex? You got everything okay? Alex said everything is good. Can you hear me now, yeah. Manny? Don, can you hear Manny? Um, I cannot. No. Can you guys hear me? There you go. A little delay. Okay, 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 okay. Alex says everything is good back there. It's all good. Let me see. Let me see. Make sure because I don't want Manny to to miss something when he talks. Uh, all right. Can, can you hear Manny? I can't hear you, Arnold. Yeah, I know. I know. It's all breaking up. I know. I know. Let me let me fix here. Uh, Alex is saying we got a delay. <clears throat> Let me see. Alex, can you come in? Let me see, Alex. We got the sound guy, the sound guy to come in the studio and try to get, you know. Yeah, it's a little, okay. it's a little, we have a little delay, uh, goes yeah. back and forth, but I think it's a, a connection problem. Okay. Uh, uh, but yeah, we'll, we, we, it looks fine for now. Uh, what we can do is uh, I can try to, we got some videos that we want to show. Uh, we can try those, see if we get a better signal, and then go back uh, to to the Manny interview. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Manny's. And hard up the middle of base hit. It's in the gap. Chew over, trying to cut it off. Cut it off. Seager turns. He's going for two. Here's the throw, and they didn't get him. Oh, baby! Cabrera says he had him. He's hopping mad at Ed Hickox. Kipnis joins the fray. Here comes Manny Acta. The, the throw and the tag was there. Well, we could see Manny Acta there for sure. I'm wondering if he got the hand in before he slapped the tag on him. Well, Manny was managing the... Let's see. Where he tags and the glove's down in front. He pulls it back. You see that? And That's he might close. have got that hand in there. That was close. Manny Acta <laughs> has been ejected from the game. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Uh, why you think, Don? That was close, isn't it? It was close. <laughs> now the it pitch. Sounded like he broke his bat, Laporta. Backhanded flip to Masterson. He didn't get the bag. At least oh, that's what the man, first base man, umpire man, Ron Drake really says. Doing it to you. Masterson well, he was the red rarely side, argues. So. We can understand does that. Does not though. agree, and here comes Manny Acton <laughs> to pick up, up his cause. You're 0 for 2. Oh, for two with this video. Now, he had a I mean, back, there, he back at this time, Manny, they, they were no he replay would not yet. argue if he didn't miss the bag. I can tell you that right I now. I hear you. Oh, man. Let that him was... go back to the bottom. Ah, that, he I was had thinking that, guys. I don't think there was replay uh, right back now, that without time even yet. seeing a replay, uh, I'm going to say Masterson was right. What was that? Kind of, two feet long there anyway. There's no replay oh, that's not that's not I think they had a really fight. Let's get a look and see. <laughs> All right, Laporta comes over, gives well, the backhand flip. I would like flip. to see that one again. Here comes Masterson, going over, steps there. Now wow. I can't see That's if he uh, hits the oh, back. Yeah. No. you can see him kicking with his toe. The mistake, right he, the the mistake he made you was going after it again. His foot flexed. Mm. He'll kick yeah. it right there. Oh, 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 I'm uh, thinking he got man, it. Justin wouldn't argue. That's where you make believe you got it and move on. Now you see. All right, yeah. Go ahead and throw it away. That's okay. Get your money's worth, Manny. Well, I think that's the end of Manny. He did it again, Manny. (laughs) 
Oh man, and now the acting Bruce 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 uh, try to give something, you know, for the Manny coaches Active to be able to at least comes out of the dugout to argue. About. He's not wow, coming out. Was... You know why he came out? He knows Justin Ooh. Masters and wouldn't say exactly. anything if he didn't hit the base. Oh, and no, his man, player told him, hey, look, I got to go protect my man. And he was right. It looked like and he they, tagged oh, the bat. <laughs> now he's arguing with the oh, coach who has no business yeah, over there. He was on the third base yeah, line I further know. away from <laughs> it than after. You remember, you remember the, the tournament in Long Island? You got well, Manny is really hot Island. about you something. It might, maybe it was just <laughs> the way <laughs> that Rob no, I didn't exactly was Kyle did. dealing with him. Because he, mean, he is that? really <laughs> smoking hot. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you never. That hey, was a tough one. Yeah, Manny's been here two years. Never seen him that mad. That was something. That's just a blown call. Man, it's all you have to wonder. You, you honestly have to wonder. I want to see that last. This, I'm not trying to blast the, the umpire. I, I, I think I got one job. I got one job. And how you miss that. Are you? Even oh, in real time, you've got to be able to see that. I'm not sure. There's nothing else going on right there. Oh, you earned it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That happens. I earned it. Okay, Manny. Can you hear, Manny? Breaking up. Bad. Okay, 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 okay. Let me let me check here with uh, uh okay, okay. Let me see. See what we do here with the uh trying to get it. Let's see how we do this. Uh trying to get trying to get everything here with Alex. We're trying to help everything here with Alex. Uh Dong, you still could hear me? I, I'm good, yeah. Manny, is any any better? Okay, all right. Well, I hear you, but I, I you're breaking up in a way where I won't be able to understand know, what you're saying. I know, I hear you, man. My English is pretty bad anyway. <laughs> That's what they call broken English. No, 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 no. I, <laughs> I already have back signal in my in my translation. <laughs> let me let me. I'll be here. I'm here. I'm gonna try to move this here. Sorry for everybody for the inconvenience. We're almost here. We almost got it set up. We get here. Yeah, uh, Manny, Manny, it does seem to like come and go. I don't know if you can hear it any better now. Or is it still still kind of tinny? Manny, can you hear me or I still Don, this is the Santiago's Muppet show? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, I, I was trying to help something and I think I messed up the other part. Yeah. So I'm I'm here, guys. I'm here. I, what do we got, Alex? Yeah, I think I think it's I think it's uh in the signal. The problem is in the signal. I think uh it's it's breaking up. Uh, yeah, it uh, seems to be freezing up a little more. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's here, here. Everything looks good here. So maybe it's something on the on the signal or something. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, uh, uh, what do you guys want to do, guys? It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. We're good. Um, what do you want to do, Donnie? Because I mean, I don't want to keep a poor Manny here. Yeah, no, talk. I think, he can he no, can't I, hear us very well. Yeah, maybe we can just try and do um, kind of what we did in the other ones to see see if um, we can pull it offline. Um, okay, you know, okay. dive into dive into some more of the questions that, we, that the coaches had sent in. Um, okay. and the coaches, some of the questions we came up with as well. So, um, Manny, yeah, can you hear it? Yeah, he looks like it's frozen on his side now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, um, we'll just kind of see. See how it works on the one in the background. I'm gonna try to bring him in back again. See, uh, see if it fixed that because uh, I think it's it's looking good here. Yeah, I think maybe it's with his signal. Where where is Manny? We have we didn't ask him where he was. He's probably in Dominican Republic, probably. The way I see all those shirts, I would say he's probably he's in Dominican. He's home. <laughs> Let's see if he's yeah, he's back. probably there. Or, hey. Yeah. Or even better, um, guys. What we can do is we can just kind of pull it offline, not take it off live, and um, yeah, stay in stay in studio. We'll see what we can pull off. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. One more, one more try here, hold folks. On, Bear hold with on, us. One more time. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And worst case, we will have this recorded and um, we'll get it posted out there for you guys. Uh, yeah, get we'll all get the it. questions we'll get answered it. and keep the um, keep the conversations going. He's trying to come in for, I think, with another device. Hmm. How's that, Manny? Check it out. Ah, uh, poor Manny, man. We're making Manny go crazy there. Yeah. Manny's gonna end up in the in the roof there, man. Trying to help us out here. <laughs> it's going up there. Yeah. And, uh, it's not gonna uh, work. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's just we'll we'll just um let's pull it off live. We'll go off. And um, yeah. All right. So fans, um, thanks for checking in. We apologize for the technical difficulties. It seems like it's hitting everywhere. You now we see it on the news stations. Um, all the feeds across. I think it's um. Not a technical guy here, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we got we got too many, too many. All these servers are getting all packed up. Yeah, uh, and especially, of course, the day before Mother's Day, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are using Saturday to try to get in touch with the mothers yeah. because they probably think that tomorrow is going to be probably worse to try to do it. So yeah, I mean, uh, we apologize definitely. Yeah. Don't so everyone, yeah, bear with us. We're going to get this offline. We'll we'll um get a post out there over the next day or two. Um, he's, trying, he's trying to connect again, so I don't yeah. want to, because he's trying to connect. Maybe he's trying another connection and stuff. Okay. Well, let's give it one more try, because I don't want you guys Arnold, to. While we're, while we're here, what, um, have you ever been kicked out of a game as a player? As a player? Yeah, yeah, twice, twice, twice. I did twice. I mean, and Don got kicked out of the studio right now. <laughs> yeah. Don got kicked out of the uh yeah. okay 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 uh alex this is what we'll do yeah well we're gonna stop the live guys because we're definitely having big time trouble we don't want you guys to try to stay there and hold on see if it's it gonna work or not but like don't say alex we're gonna go ahead try to get manny off offline we're gonna record it and then we're gonna post it to you guys pretty much what we what we ended up doing with jorge lopez because we couldn't get a, a good signal with jorge we ought to do it that way too so we'll, we'll bring it back, and you guys are going to get all the, uh, the questions for the coaches and all that. So we'll see you. We'll see you guys. Thank you.